father's been a uh, police officer here in the city of Tampa for about 29 years now. And I remember as a small child and little boy, you know, seeing my father coming home, working midnight, same schedule, and he's still a police officer here in the city. And uh, it's just always been a goal of mine to continue in his footsteps and try to come out here and serve the community and do a decent job doing it like my father's done for many years. Going to here is apparently supposed to be a burglary in progress. It's at a uh, trucking company. It's right up here upside the road. Apparently it's closed for business and somebody working in the office is saying there's a uh, black male that's inside the business that's uh, not supposed to be there. They break into these businesses on a regular basis to steal the merchandise. I hold the air down, I'm trying to clear this warehouse by myself. He's running, he's running towards the back of the complex, back in the complex. Get on the ground, man, get on the ground. Get on the ground. Damn, man. Roll over. Roll over. Roll over. Roll over. Union 7, I'm 10 15. Good job. Union 7. 10 4. I slide out, man. Corporal, I only got one. I'm 10 15 with the only one. Get up. Sam, pick me up. Right, Just dude. one corporal. Here's We're done out here. We got him. Roll over that way. Roll over. Bend your legs up. Slide up, man. There you go. Listen to me. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to the presence of an attorney. If you cannot afford an attorney, it won't be appointed for you without charge. And before any question, if that is your desire. You bleeding? Yes, I'm bleeding. Should you make any statement, you may exercise any of these rights at any time during interrogation. Do you understand your rights? Yes. Okay. You wish to talk to me right now without the presence of an attorney? No. Okay. What are you talking about? What are you doing in here? Well, what are you doing in here? You're looking around. Looking so, around? That's it. What's in here that you were looking for? Huh? Let me see your finger real quick. How'd you cut your finger? I did that a few days ago. You did that a few days ago? You got a vehicle, or how'd you get in here? I walked. Are you doing it for drugs, or? No. No? What do you mean you're not going in there for drugs? That's a stick, right? Well, you don't use that to poke <laughs> anything? Not using it as a push rod on your pipe? No. Why do you keep just, why would you keep just a little <laughs> tiny stick in your pocket, then? Okay, have a seat in this corner.
that's how it's done. How are you? That was a good job. Oh, thank you. You did a great job. Oh, I'm nervous wreck, though. Yeah. <laughs> great, thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you, I'm glad y'all got them. Oh, absolutely. A lot of high dollar equipment in these uh, warehouses here, different air conditioner units, TVs that uh, get put on semis and uh, go off to big companies and you know, some of your major national retailers. So they break into here and it's kind of just a buffet for them. They got a little bit of everything and kind of come in and choose what they want and pick and choose what it sounds like he was doing from what I can see. Doesn't look like he really made entry into anything. It's real hard to tell, but I don't see any, you know, containers that are really broken open that he was gaining an access into. Once again, ma'am, thank you. We appreciate it. You did, you did a wonderful job. That's, you did a good job. Your boss and the company is oh, definitely doing what they're asking you to do for them. Well, Prevent there. loss of the merchandise. I was just let, uh, I let down, and yeah, uh, everything just worked out. Right. Perfect. Good. Well, as long as nobody got hurt and the bad guy's going to jail, that's, right. that's what we like to see. Currently work for San Bernardino County Sheriff's Department, assigned to Victorville City Patrol. Uh, I'm on the uh, MET team right now, which is the major enforcement team. I prefer working with a partner. Uh, I prefer working with, with a partner I can, uh, I can trust and rely on. Um, you know, some people click and some people don't. Uh, I, I enjoy working with Paul. He's great to work with. We seem to get along well, and uh, we work good together. We're up to a soul with a deadly weapon call. Supposedly there's a man outside with a, with a knife just uh, to stab the, uh, the victim at the location. Uh, no updates at this point. Met two ninety seven. Okay. Where's that? Where? Right there. Nice, right there. It's a seventy-seven year old male. Apparently, he's upstairs in his apartment. Which apartment, Kevin? Upstairs. Right here. Met two will be attempted contact at apartment number A, suspect contact. Copy and confirming that's going to be on Mojave or Love Flight. It'll be on Mojave, same complex. Watch out. He's coming to the door, dude. Jim, Sheriff's Department, open the door. What do you say? Open the door. That's what I tried. Try harder. Open the door. What's that? Put your football shoulder against this Okay. Is that what you want me to do? Yeah. How are you doing? Let me see their hand. Let me see their hand. Step back. I ain't got no damn weapons if that's all you're worried about. Okay, that's what I'm worried about, okay? Hey! Hey, 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 hey. hey. Relax. Relax. All right, I'm relaxed. Relax. 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 I'm not, I'm not, no. Oh. Relax, okay? All right. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Okay. All right. All right. I surrender. <laughs> you ain't got no choice. Hey, what about these other guys? Okay. They were making threats on my life. What about them? Okay, just relax. Just lay down for a minute, okay? Oh, sure. Just what are you looking for? Just making sure you don't have any other weapons on you, sir. What kind of weapon am I supposed to have? I don't know, sir. Why don't you roll, that, roll over for me? Keep oh, you guys are all hurt, aren't you? Yes, sir, I can see it now. Hello. Well, did you find any weapons? No, sir, I sure didn't. Well, better luck next time. Okay. We found one outside, though. Huh? We found one outside. What kind of weapon up there? Right? I don't know how it got there. Don't ask me. If it hasn't got my name on it, I don't know what it is. Really? Yes, really. I think it has your name on it. What, all right, what's my name, then, if it's got my name on Jim? Huh? Jim? What else? Jim, slide over this way. Just sit up for me. Just, oh. just, sit, on, just sit on your uh, rear end there. Just watch this. Did you forget your canvas overcoat? Just straight jacket? You assaulted somebody with a deadly weapon. No, I just wanted to tell that Lisa know how she over me. OK, OK, why'd you go there with a the knife? To defend myself. Well, you can't do that, Jim, OK? Oh, goody two shoes for you. Okay. All right, Jim. We need you to stand up, okay? 
How can I stand up? We'll help you. We're going to help you, Jim. We're well, I look like a helicopter, so I'm ready to get, get hover in midair. <laughs> no. Well. Well, then come on, let's walk. Come on, let's, let's walk, walk outside. How about my wallet now my possessions? What about my key rings? We'll get we got all your that. wallet. We got your keys. We'll lock your door. So you can make a public spectacle out of me? He kicked in the door, broke the door in, threatening. Yeah, he said he wanted to cut every one of them up. Didn't you just search me before? Oh, I did. <laughs> All right. You are calling. This is All right, have a seat. Sir, get in. Have a seat. Um, sit down. Would you mind stop shoving me so I can sit down? Sit down. Damn it. Watch your other foot in there, sir. Put you your other foot in there. Well, 50 then, that's 245. Yeah, we got some people over here. Oh. Who's the, uh... I think your victim's over here at number seven. Okay. Who's the victim here? You are? What exactly happened? How did you want me to show you why I was sitting there? If you can't get up, I, mean, I don't want to. I get up. No, no, no. I just want to talk to you about what happened here. Oh, I got warrants. Oh. I don't want to talk. Oh, I'm not going to rush you for your warrants. That's not where we're here. Oh, I'm not as cute as this house. No problem. I was sitting right here on the phone. I was sitting right here on the phone. Yeah, she is. I mean, the phone was sitting right there. And, um, he came. My door was closed up, and I was sitting right here playing music, talking to my daughter. That's how I know somebody came in. And I looked up, it was him. And he, he, uh, he pushed my door in. Was your door locked when he came in? No. Okay, he just, un he just opened it up. He, and he broke my door. Okay. He actually came inside your residence? He, he stepped right there, right there where my daughter's standing at. Okay. He was walking over here, and I said, he got that big old knife. And I just got the phone and started talking. Now I don't know, I was shaking. And I said, there's a man here with, my, with a knife. And he said, I'm going to cut your head off, you whore. And he was going to walk over here, and my, and my, my boyfriend grabbed a broom. When I said 911, he went out the door. How was he holding the knife? Was it down low? Was, was it up high? Like, how he was holding that knife? Down like this? Yeah, he was holding that knife. Yeah, now take me in a damn hey, you all right? Of course I'm all right. OK, how much you been drinking tonight? Why should I? You know it all. Why should I tell you? I'm asking you. How much Nothing! You, been, you haven't drank a thing? Nothing! Have you used any narcotics tonight? Yeah. What'd you use? LSD, PCP, heroin, cocaine. What else you want to know? Nah, I just have some questions for you. Take me in. We will in a second, all right? Just relax there for a second. What are you doing? You asked those damn black ass my whole life history? Sir, why do you got to be racial? I, I like to be racial. You That's do. my right under the Constitution. OK. All right, sir. You sit tight, all right? Take me in. You're going to have to hang tight. We'll take you in when we're ready to. I know my rights under the law. It's called the Man Act. Up here, Lottie's gonna go ahead and take him. He's got some issues he needs to deal with. Uh, he is being arrested for assault to deadly weapon. Uh, we will file criminal charges with him with the district attorney's office, and hopefully they'll file a complaint on him, and he'll do some time for the damage that he did because he does have a potential for violence. Up here in the uh, Baker District, north side of Fort Worth, got the local gangs that causes quite a bit of problems over here. We have to deal with the drive-bys and the fights from them. And then we have our stockyards, uh, have all the country and western bars, and get a lot of fights. And when I come to work at night, I just expect one thing from people, and that's respect. Um, you know, if they show me respect, I'm going to show them respect. OK, I just ran a play to this Buick up here. Registration expired. and. 98, we'll make a traffic stop on it. Regular traffic, just expired registration. That driver's license insurance? Uh, I ain't got, let me see if I got my driver's license with me. I might not, but I have a pill bottle with the my name on it. What's that? Um, uh, that's the only thing I have with my name on it right now. It's the only thing with your name on it? Mm -hmm. Whose car is this? Uh, my cousin's. Um, they're, rifle. Yeah, they're the they're rifle under the seat. It's, uh... Go ahead and step out. Oh, step out of the car. It's, uh... Come here. Put your hands on the car. Step, step back here. It's, uh, I'm my... gonna put it in back, your back seat. Come here. It's, uh, is this your house? Cousin. No, it's, uh... Huh? I, I just stopped there. Whose is it? Uh, I don't know. You don't know whose house it is? No, I just pulled over. Let's see. Whose car is that? My cousin's. Your cousin's? Medallion, but it's not under her name. All right. What's the shotgun doing in there? Uh, it was. It's uh, my cousin. It's your cousin. I just borrowed the car to get home. 
Why were you pulling in here? Just because I knew y'all were going to throw me over. To so avoid I, us? No, because I knew y'all were going to stop behind me, so I went ahead and stopped. Oh, so you pulled into the driveway? Yeah. Uh, you just hoping we'd just drive by no, you, right? I, I knew y'all would. Yeah. Okay. Let's find her. Driver's seat? Good deal. One big solid. Oh, yeah. You got a little bag? Yeah, I got one. What's in that plastic bag right there? Uh, I don't know. You don't know? Yeah. So you were sitting on it, but you don't know what it was? I, I didn't know I was sitting on it. You didn't know you were sitting on it? No. So that's why you were trying to avoid me, right? No, no, sir. Huh? No, sir. No. Not yet. It's uh, laying right here. Right there? Yeah. Okay. This guy's up to something, dude. And he has this porn magazine right here, too. Oh, yeah, it's, uh... Yeah, I found this in here. I'm not sure what it is. It doesn't feel very heavy. Just gonna look at it and see. Feels like just wadded up paper. Got a scale. Just typical for uh, people who deal drugs, weigh out their product. Bottle full of hydrocodone, which is, if you took all those, that definitely puts you out. I think we just have paper. Here's a letter. To a girl named... Written out to a female. I can't handle this because you want to go out and get high with so-and-so. I'm already dying. I took all my pills this time. Didn't you have a bottle of pills? Yeah. It's a suicide letter. This guy was definitely up to something. Yeah, loaded shotgun. You think we just we stopped him from committing suicide? That or killing somebody else. Yeah. She's pretty odd, huh? It is. It's real, it's real odd. I don't know what exactly what he was up to, but it wasn't going to be pretty. What were your plans tonight? Going home. Going home. You sure? Yes. What's what's up with the letter? The what? With the letter? No, and that wad of papers that you get that you had taped up? The wad of newspaper I don't that you had letter. that you had taped up? Had a suicide letter in there? The one to Claudia? That was the other night that I wrote that. It was the other night? It's funny how you mentioned you're going to take all your pills in that letter and you got a whole bottle of hydrocodone. You got a shotgun, you got drugs. You know how lucky you are we didn't shoot you? I was, I was going to tell you that it was done right what, what, what were your plans tonight? To go home. Just to go home. What's your first name? Elias. Elias? Mm -hmm. You know, if you ever feel like you want to hurt yourself, you know, it's called the police. Yes, I've done that. Good help. I, you know that, right? I did do that. I had checked myself into the hospital. We're not going to laugh at you and tell you to get over it. It's something serious. My shit's going to be hard. You sure you don't feel like doing anything to yourself? Were you planning on doing anything tonight? Mm. Only way you can help yourself is if you be honest. I didn't plan on it. No, I mean, I was upset, but the, the letter was actually from a couple of days ago. It's obvious you're upset. Well, you know you're going to be going to jail tonight. It's like we stopped suicide or uh, something. He, he's suicide definitely or a something. murder.